canine detective, this Jack Russell is a pointer of a different kind. Come on, find your bees. Lola is not sniffing for bees, but bugs that give you the jitters and itchy bumps after they bite you while you sleep. Good girl, good girl! OK, she's scratched on that area over there. Now I'm going to reward her because she's picked up some of bed bugs. Mark Astley, qualified pest controller, uses Lola, trained at the Pepe Canine Academy in Florida, to identify bed bugs early. Good girl, good girl! Without relying on finding their feces that appear as black spots. Lola has done her bit, only scratching the surface. The hunt continues with Mark now on all fours. Because it only needs to be, there you go, there's a bed bug. That's really big. It's the size of an apple pip, isn't it? So that's a fully grown bed bug. Is that one there in the corner? Where? Over to the right. Yeah, you've got great eyes, I think that's a bed bug. So it's moving. It's moving, and you can moving. see that's moving pretty fast, yeah? Yeah. Let's just hope that's the only one that's moving. Uh, I can assure you there's lots. The, it, it, these are just ones we're seeing, and I obviously know where to look because I've dealt with this problem for years. Every year, it seems, we're seeing bed bugs more often than not. It's becoming more widespread. So in recent years, the bed bug numbers have gone up from uh, between 100 and 500 percent in North America, uh, in Europe and in parts of Asia and Australia. Perhaps the reason they're becoming more widespread is they're evolved, they've evolved resistance to the normal pesticides that have been used to kill them off. There are now two effective ways to treat bed bugs. One with chemical sprays that take 21 days to kill all the bugs, but not their eggs. And the other is a quicker but more expensive way, using heat and nothing else. Essentially turning the house or room into an oven for two to three hours, furnished or unfurnished. Starting at $2,000 for a two-bedroom house, rooms or whole floors can be treated at 8 in the morning and be bug-free by 6 p.m. the same day, which is good news for hotels who do not want to lose money or their reputation. We do get quite a lot of reports of bed bugs. Of course, the hotelier really, it's their responsibility then to try and sort it out. And quite often, if they uh, notice a review on their website that says we've experienced bed bugs, they have the opportunity to go on there and do a right to reply. And we always recommend they do that because if they say, actually, sorry to hear about your bed bug experience, that was two weeks ago. We've actually had the property fumigated since then. Mark Astley has treated seven hotels in London with bed bug problems so far this year along with aircraft fleets of two UK airlines. They're like little hitchhikers, they'll climb on and into our bags or on our clothes, or we'll pack them unknowingly when we're in a hotel or somewhere into our bag, zip them up and take them home. At a controlled temperature of 134 degrees Fahrenheit, these stowaways and their eggs have no chance. They can't burrow deeper into the cracks and hide. They look like they're actually starting to go as we speak, actually. The ones we brought in were dead within minutes. With the bed bugs baked, for Lola and Mark, it's on to the next one. Come on, find your piece. Whether there's bed bugs in a house or hotel, or seats on public transport, Lola will be there to track down this new breed of seasoned traveller. Aisha Dergahi, CNN, Essex.